Well, hello, it's Jason again. And today I would like to review and talk about Tabac Original Cologne. Uh, this is by Maurer and Wirtz and came out in about 1959. Some sources say 1955. And it is an Eau de Cologne. And this is a splash bottle. I'm not sure if it comes in other sizes, but let's see. This one is a 10.1 uh, fluid ounce. It is a splash bottle, and I don't have a problem with that. I kind of expect that from an older cologne. And this is a fresh scent. I grew up on fresh scents, and um, I've branched out scents and explored all different kinds of scents. But this kind of brings me back to a little to my childhood and um, the more traditional sense. Anyway, um, this is uh, citrusy, flowery, floral, and underneath that it's spicy and kind of a little bit of a musky. Uh, it smells like walking into a barber shop. It just has that uh, smell. I, if you've ever smelled Barbersol shaving cream, uh, it has a little bit of that kind of a, a smell to it. So, with that said, um, I would like to talk about some of the ingredients in, in here. Um, now, one of them, and I'm going to uh, show you uh, a document of this because maybe it, that way you can can read with me. Um, so here we go. Okay, uh, there is limonene, and that's an, has an orange kind of a scent. Citral is lemony, citrusy, fruity, and green. Hydrocitronellol and citronellol. Uh, those two chemicals have a rose, lily of the valley, and citrus green uh, kind of a, a scent. Gera geraniol is rose-like. Amyl, cinnamol is floral and jasmine-like. Linalool is spicy, floral, and it's interesting that linalool has been shown to um, actually fight cancer. Uh, linalool is also, it's, uh, it is often used in uh, perfumery as a, as the um, center uh, note. Um, it's maybe a comparison to music would be like middle C. Um, it is the, or in temperature, the zero point, it is the center of the fragrance spectrum in terms of intensity. And um, the intensity of all other fragrances is often measured by linalool, greater than or less than linalool. So it is also very universal in many, many fragrances and it, in nature it is one of, or one of the most commonly found chemicals. Um, and it's a spicy floral smell. Uh, if you smell, if you actually smell it, you will be very, you'll recognize it. Um, and it does kind of contribute to that barbershop-ish kind of scent in this fragrance. Next one is benzyl benzoate, is a, a faint sweet balsamic uh, note. Eugenol and isoeugenol, sweet, spicy aroma, and sometimes clove like. Uh, I believe eugenol is in clove, clove cigarettes, not that I'm promoting smoking at all. Um, coumarin, and we'll come back to that. And then benzyl, uh oh, sal. Can, Sal sal salisate, okay, a musky, and interesting about this is some people cannot smell it, uh, some can. So, um, anyway, let's go back to coumarin. 
Coumarin is sweet, herbaceous, with a spicy, fresh top note. Now, interesting, I uh, was very concerned about this because uh, in studying perfumery, this was listed as a carcinogen. It is in many fragrances. Um, and I'm not quite sure if it's in cinnamon that you cook with, uh, but so I did some research and what I've discovered is that it's not as bad as I thought. Um, if you read here, I, I found a, a posting on basenotes.com that says it's reminiscent of cassia cinnamon, which is also full of it, even a hint of fresh paint. Um, I get that, uh, but also cool and pleasing with a vanillic facet. Coumarin also conjure, conjures warm notes of tobacco with caramelic overtones, which makes it a pliable partner in the composition not only of masculine fogueries, but also of gourmand orientals, as it pairs so well with natural vanilla, benzoin, oriental balsams such as talu and peru balsam and with ethyl vanillin, such as in Masculine Woody Oriental Pie by Gvenchi. Um, I pronounced Fogier wrong, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the list of chemicals in, in uh, Tobacco Original. And um, what I found is that Coumarin uh, is mildly toxic, but you have to have a ton of it to really be, be toxic in it at all. So I don't find any evidence that it's a carcinogen. And the reason I bring this up is because I think it's very important to know what we're putting in us and on us. And uh, we should read the labels. We should know uh, what's in it. Um, regarding health and safety, but also um, it is to me it's interesting to know what is causing the fragrance and they can either be natural things or synthetic and we call these aroma chemicals anything any chemical that has that gives off a fragrance is called an aroma chemical not all chemicals give off a fragrance so um, I'm going to now move on to on the computer I'm going here I'm going to show you a few other things regarding um, how to look at how to find information about chemicals and uh, some more information about coumarin so that's what we'll look at next okay now we're looking at fragrantica.com and uh, before I want before I go into the chemicals, I wanted to just go back and, and look at what Fragrantica says about this, about um, tobacco original. Uh, they are saying it's aromatic, woody, citrusy, floral, aldehydic, and balsamic. Definitely what we just read in the chemicals uh, descriptions. So um, the most they're saying aromatic and woody. I would have to say yes. Uh, however, the aldehydic um, does um, does seem to be prominent to me. Okay, now we are going. Oops, I'm going to scroll down and take a look at. the projection and longevity. <clears throat> so longevity, uh, most people are saying it's moderate. Some are saying it's long lasting. I would agree that it's moderate. And then for the um, projection, moderate. Okay, now let's go take a look at the chemicals. Okay, 
there's a, an association that classifies chemicals that are used for fragrances and it's called the International Fragrance Association and this is their website. Okay, so now this is what you can do. It's when you get to this website, I'm going to post the link to this in the um, video description too, but I will tell you right now it is www.ifraorg.org. Okay, so we're going to click down here on standards and then we get this nice page with all sorts of information about chemicals and standards used in perfumery and this link right here all updated in new standards I'm going to click there and we get a huge list of pretty much every chemical that is used in perfumery and those that shouldn't be. On the left over here, if you click there, we get a list of prohibited chemicals. The center link restricted leads to, uh, they still can be used, but there's, they're restricted in their quantities. And then over on the right, this link, link um, it, they're not restricted, but certain specifications are indicated for each. Now, so you can go down through here and you can, can look at, actually here's linalool right there. And you can expand this and find more information and you get a whole profile about the chemical. Okay, coumarin is in here uh, and I'm not going to go there now. This site can be a little complicated so it would be better if you look at it on your own time. And <clears throat> now let's go to the American Cancer Society. <clears throat> If you go there, uh, there, they have a whole section on known and probable carcinogens. And if you scroll down, you get a huge list, tons of chemicals. Coumarin is not listed on that list, any of those lists that are listed on this site. Okay, see where I'm going with this? And, uh, now let's go to the American Chemical Society and this is what they say about coumarin. Coumarin is a benzopyrone that occurs naturally in plant derived sources such as tonka, beans, lavender oil, woodruff, and sweet clover. Its sweet scent makes it useful in perfume manufacture. It is a potent rodenticide, but it is only moderately toxic to humans. It is used to make wayfarin, another rodenticide that is also a widely used anticoagulant drug named uh, coumadin for preventing thrombosis and embolism. Yes, uh, that is true and that is interesting that uh, a derivative of coumarin is coumadin used as a blood thinner. All right, now let's go on to another site. <clears throat> Here's an article. Uh, this is on PubMed and um, this article, I'm going to put the link to this on the, in the description as well. Now, 
not genotoxic agent, not a genotoxic agent. Um, the target organs for toxicity were in a mouse, rat and mouse, were mainly the liver and lungs. I'll put the link in the comments box and you can take a look for yourself.